Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. Today, we're going to try and set up some electric fencing. The Gallagher team are here. Let's roll. So I suppose this is kind of like, well, it's kind of like an ad. It basically is an ad for Gallagher fencing. Suzanne here is, are you, what's your title, Suzanne? I'm the account manager for Scotland, Northern Ireland and North of England um, and I look after the Wayne for the UK. So I look after all the dealers across that region and attend on farm for consults. Okay, that's the that's short version. And uh, <laughs> Olivia is the new apprentice. Is that right? Yes, yeah, well, I'm new account manager for South England. So you're going to be south of it, so that'll be the whole of the UK covered. Who does Wales? Um, so we have someone new who's starting in Wales. Which has not started yet. Is Gallagher getting bigger and bigger in the UK then? Is that what's happening here? Yeah, well, we're um, taking more and more of the market share. It's the best oh, yeah. of the market. Oh, that's good, that's good. Right, so that's exciting. So what we have here... Hang on a second, we'll just get this explained. But yeah, what do we have here? Right, so we've got European solid gear drills, which you, are... I should say that Suzanne delivered this to me months ago. Um, that's why the boxes, they, they were in the rain for they a little while. They didn't come delivered like that? No, no, they were in the rain for a little while and then I put them in the shed. Um, I'm not sure you did. And now I put them in the shed before Suzanne arrived <laughs> and now uh, we're just getting stuck into it all because I've never set up an electric fence. Hat me! All the gear. All the gear. Hat me! Put that in your key ring. Okay. Does that do something? Yeah, it's a key ring beeper, so it'll let you know whether the fence is on or not on. So what? if you're using the children, you have a bit of grass to touch it. So you asked me about a battery, but obviously... Hang on a second. Jock. You can't get that song round. Come down. Oh, big boy. There you go. Right, watch. watch his hands back. Oh, Jesus. Let him in. Just watch him as he catch his fingers. Ah, he's, he's nain left to hurt. They're all bandaged up. So sorry, what was it I got, Suzanne? So this is an S100 solar energizer. So you asked me about a leisure battery. Yeah. So they don't need a leisure battery. The battery's inside this unit. So this unit runs 365 days of the year without you charging it. It charges off the solar panel. Even in Scottish sunshine? It's not designed in sunshine. It's just the UV light from the daylight. Okay. So it'll run 28 days after being in the dark. It'll hold charge. So all you have to do is basically all the leads, the batteries already in the unit, you're just connecting that up. It will run 10, up to 10 kilometres on a single line, three right. kilometres on like a three line. Impressive, impressive. Yeah, and without you having to charge it. And this, I think that's about a thousand metres worth, is it? Yeah, so many we got, yeah. So each reel holds 500 metres, so that's a thousand metres of fence in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Pretty good, eh? Not too exciting. Sure. Uh, we're going to go from here, where I'm standing, to just down that corner, I think, and try it. That's about 200 metres. Nah, maybe 250. Yeah. This, this is my first time setting up electric fencing, ever. Ever? Ever. Disappointing. That's why I had to get you guys here. Have you done it before? <laughs> <laughs> she's here laughing at me. Like. <laughs> she's laughing at you, but she's never done it before. Know, Maybe this it. is like week two in the job. In the yeah, yeah, that's good. Week two in the job. Okay, so post set up, just screwed those wee brackets in. Just put them in by hand, so you need to get a wee spanner just to tighten them. So just as simple as those brackets on, hook mm -hmm. those in. Yep. Right, and then you'll just leave this attached here and just walk down the field. Yep, you'll take your three lines with you and walk down the field. So these orange bits at the back, Cam, if you turn them round once they're on, it locks that on there. Okay. So, so if you open it up, that's it open. You push that round, it just locks the real bracket so it doesn't bounce out. Oh, so it can't come out now? Yeah. Ah, right, okay, I see, I see. Yep. Yep. Must admit, this is easier than I expected it to be. I almost feel like I could have worked this out. You could have worked this out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd have is... faith in you. Yeah, no, this is quite good. Okay, how about you just get walked in the field? Yeah, well, you can drive if you want, but you could walk. Ah, oh, it's a nice day for a walk, isn't it? Just hey, gonna... Jock, come on, we're walking down the field. Yeah. Let's go. Smooth operator. Off we go. How's that look? Yeah, well, we'll go back up and what we'll do is knock the reels back in and break them. So we'll run the reels back in, which will tension the lines. Right, okay. 
line, line run out. Just the tups in this field, so we're just going to keep the tups shut in this side for a bit, see how it works. So I've run the reel out, dead easy. And then, now what, just pull some tension on it? Yeah, so we're just going to tension the line. So we probably need to pop some um, posts in as well. So, so we will. And you do, well, I tie that post back for the tension bit. Yeah, because that's why we run the actual. Yeah, because I haven't put that thing on Because you've it. got no tools, can Yeah, I? no, I have no tools. But I mean, I might have a bit of string though. What we'll do is we'll pop some posts in. Some of the white posts. All these fancy, this fancy gear, and I've got a bit of string here to. So just some posts in now, just to help support the lines a bit. Yeah, so you can put some posts in first. How far these apart? Are are these are varial posts. So okay. these posts, when you pop them in, you can get really good and do it off the bike. So you can, that's it out. What, if you get good, you can do it off the bike? Yeah, if you get oh. good. Right, okay, so that's a while away for me. Yeah, so then when you just turn it and pop the post in. Like so it. So can't pop back out. Okay. Easy peasy. So there's no really set guideline. If we do 500 metres or 400 metres, we do 40 posts, which is generally the kind of guideline. Some people like more or less, depending on what stock, depending on whether it's... Um, the stock's used to the fence as well. Quite a simple process here at the end, it's literally just hooks on. Oh, it's like a Blackie's horn. That's quite good. Easy. easy. So easy even I could do it. So easy you could do it. The kids could do it as long as you turn the energizer off. There you go, looks good. Quite it's simple, not... eh? So basically I've tensioned that, right? Right. So it is, it's pretty much as tight as it goes, but the brakes on this side, you can just let off the brake and it'll let the Tension off. The tension off. You just, you're just winding the handle to tighten it up. I just turn the drum. By hand, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah I just yeah. do it by hand. Oh, yes, yeah. Alright, okay. And this links them. So yeah, you only so need to electrify one cable? Yes. So that okay. links it. Yeah. Dead simple. Easy. Yeah. Mum, what are you doing to that boy? <laughs> Let's see. Would you like so that, Jock? Yeah. Do you want your head in the water? Yeah. <laughs> you'll be cold, you'll be cold. Okay. So obviously put the, wherever you're putting your energizer, put it the opposite side from the stock. Yeah. Because other than that, they'll, they'll, they'll eat your crocodile clips, they'll rub on the energizer. Of course. And it could possibly cause some damage. These energizers all come with seven years warranty anyway. Three years of standard and then you just register for your extra four. So you don't have some air stakes there, but there's no clamps. So I'll get some clamps in for you. Okay. So we'll just utilize your extra. So just missed a couple of clamps for earth stakes. Yeah, so your earth stakes are next to the trailer. Lizzie will know about that if she's found some chickens. Okay, yeah, right, and you just clamp something to it. What else do we need, Lizzie? Uh, Aye, I've got a tester in my pocket. No, you, no. Yeah, I hoped he was going to do that. Aye. Well, I'll need to try, I'll try it, I'll try it. Right, well. Uh, no, the tester, do you know, you do this and then you like. Touch right, okay, it. you can do that once I can it. You feel like it. tingle. <laughs> you drinking that? Oh, there's his. Oh, you're some boy. Is it on? Touch it now. With your finger. Don't hold onto that at the same time. So what's it How big a kick's in it? Just hold the thing. Just I hold the line. I don't know if I'm brave Just enough. Just hold it. Get it across. Get it across. It's terrible. Do you think? Let me t test how big a kick it is. I don't know. Okay, don't get your finger on it. You don't get the same kick. <laughs> Still gets you. <laughs> 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 Aye, that'll do. So this has got a wildlife setting as well, as right. well as a stock setting. So the wildlife setting, at night the fence will maybe slow down. So the wildlife setting, if you put your grass on it now, right. put, put your grass on it again. What? Uh, oh. You need to keep the grass. So it runs a faster pulse. Okay, <laughs> so some, yeah, so it's yeah. faster. So if you're putting the stock in. not trained, you want it faster? Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, he yeah. will, because he's been grabbing it. Yeah, so it. we'll maybe turn it off when Aye. the little one's there. Right. And is that the biggest kick, the first one I had? That's a big enough kick, I think. You want a wee go, Lizzie? No, yeah. I've had it enough. Come on. We've done it enough. Come on. No, no. Have a wee go. You've got the beeper. I did give him an extra beeper, so there should be like a beeper for you. See, I didn't even do me that time. I just got such a fright. Right, hang on. Let me, you grabbed it. Right, so this is a beeper. Mm -hmm. So it's telling you already. Well, it's just beeping already? Yeah, because it can pick up the pulse from the distance, so you don't even need to put it on. Let's see, there you go. So right, hang on, we're here. What is that? It can tell from here? Yeah, it can tell that obviously the fence is on. So it's not giving me the read, not, not the pens, but it's really handy thing to have in your pocket. As I say, it's de dead easy. 
Well, that was a doddle. That was a doddle. Even for you. And that's a bit, even for me. That's about two hundred meters out. So see once you get see once you get going. Like see these posts. So Lizzie? you left it on the other. You basically. No, you've switched it off. I've switched it off just right. now because I'm touching the fence. Uh -huh. You'll be able to drive along from the bike and basically drop the posts out just like that because okay. of the design of the posts. Yeah, yeah. Rather than having to like you get other posts that have just got a little line in here. Ah, yeah, I've seen them. Yeah, yeah. Where you do have to go on and off the bike, but actually, once you get used to it, a lot of people just put them on Twist and off and the drop. bike. Yeah. Yep. Okay, that's quite good. So that's the Gallica system set up. Absolute doddle. Thanks to Suzanne and Olivia for showing me how to do that. Unbelievably straightforward, I must say. I had in my head it would be such like a. You need to be an electrician to do it. Really, really easy. 200 meters done. No bother at all, it took longer because I was messing about and we had to open all the boxes. Uh, if you put what's this, though, not is used for, in the back of the buggy. We're so going to use it more on the farm here, but also for a field of rape, forage rape that I planted. That Let me go and yep. show you that now. In the rape field here, forage rape planted, and it's a very mixed, mixed picture here. We have, let me turn it around as I talk. Some of it, like where I am here just now, is uh, is cracking. In fact, Mark, if you could film this for me a second, please, mate. I'll stand in it and we can see the. I need to put you standing in it. We'll be able to see you. <laughs> if I, oh, I've lost my muffler. Okay, okay. So try again. I pro you probably couldn't hear that. Um, so, like, if I stand over into it here, you can see we're getting stuff up to the groinal area. Um, if I take a leaf off. Quite nice, nice big leafage. The stuff that has really worked has really worked. It's uh, it's, it's looking good. Interesting thing with with rape um, is that it's probably like what's it like 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 celery or uh, I suppose it's closest to raw like eating broccoli raw. It's obviously from that same kind of kind of category. Quite sweet. Quite tasty, actually. It is actually quite tasty. Um, I don't actually know why humans don't eat it. Probably because it's quite um, fibrous. I don't know if that's the right thing. But then so would broccoli and, and sugar snap peas. All those things would be horrible if you didn't boil them first. So I don't know why we don't eat it. But there's a, a leaf there. Quite a good one. We'll put that back where it was. So, yeah, this is the good stuff that we're looking at there. I mean, there's an absolute belter if I come through here, Mark. Abdul, come closer. I think there could be various facts, like this whole patch is like, I mean, look, there we go. Jeez, I can't even find a way in here. Um, so you see the height of that? There. There's the thumbnail. It's it's looking cracking. Really good height, but it's just so uneven. If I take you over, I'll take you over and show you the bad bits. So this is here, the, a really poor area. So this is the same field. That's the good deep stuff we were just in. This is the same field. You just see it, it hasn't taken. I spoke to someone. I mean, that's not really, that's just kind of weeds there. Um, you just see it hasn't. Take. I don't even know if that is forage rape. I don't think it is. I'm not. I'm not good at this stuff, by the way, folks. So, um, I just wonder. I see this. Uh, yeah, no, that is that is rape. It's just not taken at all. You look at the colours. It's a kind of dark purple kind of colour. Now, I wonder. It could be various things. This could be not enough lime, perhaps. I think uh, forage rape needs good pH levels. We did, we put uh, granular lime on here and then fertiliser, as per soil samples indicated. But this whole section here is just, it's just terrible. Just absolutely terrible. This is the wet, you see there's a wet hole right behind me there. So, it's a uh, indication of the kind of, we're in the wet part of the field, this really bogs down in winter. So it's not the end of the world that this isn't a massive crop of rape because it would get quite messy, although I'm very firm underfoot here. And before we reseed re this, probably get a look in it, having a go at try to maybe fix a couple of drains. There is a burn running that way. There are quite shallow drains and what whatnot in here, so it might be worth see if I can get on board with somebody that has that expertise and 
the equipment of course and we'll do that see a lot of water line over here as well you see that there that big big watering hole so you know there's, there's little patches trying to do something here but it's interesting something to, to think about if we're going to reseed this because there's no point in reseeding having a whole horrible bit so we'll get the rape off it lambs will go on it quite soon i think there's no point in eating good grass i could use for my ewes when I've got 500 lambs left that could go into this and we'll, we'll throw a creek feeder in as well and then anything that's left, if there's anything left I have another 15 acre field that we've tried in stubble it's nowhere near what this is like because it was put in very late and it's just a little trial but we'll see it's just something different, I'm just trying to show you guys I'm trying to do things better and I'm trying to show you guys the different things that we're doing and the idea of this and, and, and with the stubble is that you know, I pay for the, the crop to go in, but then you don't get charged for the the ground, that, well this field, I get charged for the rest of the ground, but not this field. So that means I can put 500 lambs on here, uh, and it, essentially the, the forage rep I had lambs on before, that was a pound per head per week. So if I get 500 lambs on here, or certainly 400 lambs, you're 400 pounds a week. So you're only sort of five weeks, and, and this is paid for, more or less. So yeah, that's it should come out well ahead, I think. Although, you've still got to put it back into grass and that's to factor in. But you win out of that as well because you've then got, you've then got a good grass field. So it's like, we'll see, we'll do the figures. We'll show you all the figures at the end. Let me know what you think of that.